According to NASA's ominous alert, this entity is consuming galaxies. Due to how little we know about space, what occurs in space is inevitable. However, new discoveries have revealed that something in the cosmos is consuming everything that exists. In fact, it has begun luring the Milky Way in its way for consumption. In today's video, we will examine NASA's ominous warning that something in space is devouring galaxies. In fact, experts believe that this phenomenon has the potential to consume the entire universe. Astronomers have been studying this phenomena for a considerable amount of time, and this is what they have discovered thus far. The constellation Sense, which is located at the furthest edge of our galaxy, consists of a great deal of gas, dust, and stars. This constellation has an area known as the Zone of Avoidance, and in the center of that region is a region known as the Great Attractor. This region was found by astronomers using satellite-assisted X-ray and radio astronomy. Now, let us return to our galaxy and discuss its companion, the Andromeda Galaxy. These two galaxies are approaching each other in the direction of the local group of galaxies, which is located in the center of the Virgo Cluster. All of these heavenly bodies are heading toward the supercluster of Laika. Due to a force that astronomers are currently attempting to better understand, but all boils down to the strength of the power at the Great Attract. The diameter of the Great Attract is estimated to be 300 million light years. Regarding its distance from Earth, it is approximately 147 million light years distant. Behind the Great Attract is an area of clouds and nebula that collectively form a large silver galaxy cluster known as the Norma Cluster. Initial estimates place the typical cluster's mass in the vicinity of one quadrillion solar masses, the cluster project in the zone of avoidance. Later did extensive investigation with the aid of X-rays and discovered that there are many less galaxies in the tract region than what was anticipated, and that the estimate is significantly off from reality. It was thought that the mass of the big attractor was around 10 million times that of in actuality, though, it is only one-tenth. The estimation of the value. In reality, a maternal quest bias was discovered in the straightforward words. The greater the distance, the higher the quantity of weak or dim things that cannot be observed. In addition, only the brightest objects will be noticed, while the remainder will be ignored. This is one of the reasons why we perceive some objects to be brighter than they really are. In addition to this, astronomers have, as opposed to being generated by a force, the abundance of galaxies in that location might be due to chance. This suggests that the enormous attraction may be nothing more than an illusion. There is a force in the vast attractor, but it is insufficient to attract nearby galaxy clusters. However, the force that attracts them to the center of the Laakir supercluster is still a significant one. This prompted scientists to examine the gravitational pull using various structures. For this reason, they examined the supercluster. The Schlafly supercluster consists of around 8,000 galaxies distributed throughout 20 groupings. All of them are 650 million light years distant from the atmosphere. This supercluster has 10 million solar masses, making it one of the most enormous structures within a billion light years of Mark Galaxy. Since quite some time, the renowned DSA Planck spacecraft has seen cosmic light on its radar. In fact, several photos of the core of the Sharply Super 4 cluster have been captured. There are quite a few pink specks visible over the entire image, several of them. While others are considerably smaller, the large pink area on the right is capable of treating 558 and the one on the left is capable of treating 562. The middle smaller P dots are smaller clusters. Scientists uncovered something comparable in the other direction of the Shapley supercluster upon further investigation of the cosmos. Here was a zone of exceptionally low density known as the dip or plunge. Let's examine the distinctions between the dipole rep propeller and the Shelley supercluster. While the Shelley supercluster's supergravitational pull draws celestial bodies away from this region of space, the dull ray propels lack of matter causes it to push matter away. Over dense parts of the universe, they attract heavenly companions. 
Unfortunately, scientists and other specialists have not yet determined how the big attractor operates. Despite these facts concerning the Shapley supercluster and the dip propeller, Matthew Coas, a professor from the University of Australia, has remarked that the velocity of the Milky Way and the gravitational pole of the Furo cluster and Shapley supercluster remain unexplained. Specifically, if all facts must be true, our galaxy should be moving slower than expected. To be more accurate, the galaxy should travel 50 kilometers per second more slowly. The rationale for this conclusion is the mystery structures hiding behind the Milky Way that are influencing the galaxy's motion. Among these formations is a supercluster that scientists have investigated. The neighboring supercluster resides under a thick veil of dust and gas. It is roughly 850 million light years distant. As for its vastness, it spans 370 million light years and contains 100,000 galaxies that blaze brilliantly across the cosmos. Additionally, many have suggested that it is the biggest cluster in the Milky Way. Scientists may now be able to understand the true pace at which the Milky Way is traveling by examining the gravitational attraction exerted by the neighboring cluster. This has contributed further to the universe's expansion. Astronomers have analyzed the 883 galaxies lying in the zone of avoidance as of today. One-third of these were not seen. The radio telescope detected three concentrations of galaxies, namely the NW1, NW2, and NW3, as part of study conducted in Australia's park. In addition, they discovered two more clusters, CW1 and CW2. Now, the majority of galaxies contain an average of 100 billion stars. Their gravitational attraction influence is nearby galaxies. Even while we are aware of this, we are still uncertain as to why our galaxy is not traveling slower. In order to examine this further, they introduced the notion of dark matter as supporting evidence. Dark matter may be composed of indestructible clusters, and its gravity has the capacity to attract galaxies. The idea of black flow is another topic that scientists posed in response to this enormous challenge. According to the theory of dark flow and surprising motions of galaxy clusters, an unidentified mass exists outside the universe and flows toward it. The NASA Goddard spaceflight scientists, the Wilkinson microwave, and his RO probe provide support for this notion, which has been investigated in depth. Wilkinson microwave and RO probe measurements on more than a thousand clusters indicate that dark flow may reach far deeper into the cosmos than we previously believed. Many experts have gone a step further and hypothesis it that there may be another world connected to ours, comparable to a multiverse, which is causing our universe to experience this occurrence. Overall, the majority of scientists think that the cosmos began with bubbles of primordial energy fields, each of which led to the formation of distinct planets. The gravitational pull of a fundamental energy field might have spawned the dark flow. From another dimension, guess only time will tell if it is true or not. What are your views on the tremendous straw? Do you believe the foal will be eaten by a four in the near future, or do you believe it will take quite some time? What do you think of the Diet Complete Propeller and the Shaley Silver Cluster? Use your ideas to bombard the common areas. We hope you found this video to be fairly educational, and we look forward to seeing you on our channel again soon.